listen we back like we never left all right i'm gonna show you guys how i did this really cute 90s inspired hairstyle i have so many new products to show you guys like i can't wait so make sure you like share and subscribe and stay tuned for this tutorial What is going on YouTube? It's your girl Easy Breezy and I'm back with another hair sponsor. Thank you so much Wow African. You already know they are not new to my channel at all. But before we get into this wig, let's get into the new products that I have to show you guys from galaxygirlhair.com. So number one, we have the Mega Growth Shampoo and Conditioner. We have the Lace Tint Foams, the number one selling product on the entire website. Our Glue Remover and our Liquid Lace Gel. We have sprays, we have the classic Liquid Lace Glue and our stocking caps, you guys already know going on if you need your hair products to install your wigs head to galaxygirlhair.com asap all right so let's get into this wig right so my model her name is ayana y'all say hey ayana what's up girl so she normally goes for bone straight wigs or curly or highlighted or whatever but she's not used to trying different textures that are out of her comfort zone like yakky you know yakky straight kinky and things like that and this time like i showed her the wig and she was like um she was like i don't know breezy like she was like i know yakky when i hear it she was like i know what yakky hair is and that ain't good <laughs> and i'm like wait 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 don't judge because yakky hair is one of my favorite textures ever all right so you do have different types of yakky textures okay you have the traditional yakky which is really big voluminous and it's really textured and it kind of looks like a blown out afro and then you have yakky straight hair which also has a nice texture it's really soft but it's a lot more straighter than the traditional yakky hair so anyways, I was like, wait, 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 you know what I'm saying? Don't judge so quick, you know what I'm saying? Because I was showing her pictures of Yaki straight hair and she was liking it, but she was really apprehensive because she's like, I don't want it to get nappy. You know, every time you think of the word Yaki, you just think of nappy braiding hair. <laughs> and trust me, I get it. But this texture is nothing like you would think. The hair is so soft. It feels like real hair. And when you flat iron, it, it can get bone straight so we tried it and listen she loved it but i'm gonna show you in this video why because we really really slayed this hairstyle and believe it or not you know i don't really get a lot of like long-term reviews or you know updates and things like that from my models but she actually texted me that she still liked the hair and she would even use the wig again so listen if that's not convincing i don't know what is all right, so in this video, I'm dedicating my voiceover to anyone that's new to my channel that's just looking for a straight tutorial instead of like a story time or a shop talk. I know everyone that is veterans to my channel love my shop talks, but today we're getting into instructions so you can know exactly what I'm doing and how I do it. All right, so back in the day, I used to never use caps under my install. <laughs> and I just thought, you know, why would you use that whole extra step to put product right near people's edges just to put a cap on there? Like it's not even necessary, blah, blah, blah. But then I realized that I can see straight through the lace when the lace was like really plucked good, good, <laughs> you know? And you don't wanna see any black behind the lace because it stops looking scalp and it starts looking kind of fake so I always use the ball cap method before I install my wigs and I do that with glue instead of like sprays and things like that because I feel like you can be a lot neater when you're working with glue and you don't have to get any product on the hair at all and as far as the back of the stocking cap goes as you've seen in the beginning of this video i don't do no gluing unless i'm doing a 360 wig okay so i'll just tie it in the back or i'll just cut it off and leave it at that and listen i'm looking at this hairline and i'm just mm, 
I'm obsessed. So Wow African actually sent me a wig that was pre-customized. And you know, normally when I get quote unquote pre-customized wigs, I normally have to do my own little plucking and bleaching to it. But let me tell you something, these companies, okay, they're getting advanced. <laughs> so I'm getting wigs now where the hairlines look so good, I don't have to do anything. And for real, for real, y'all have it good because back in the day when I was doing hair in a salon, it was like if four people came in for a wig install at the same time, so, so much plucking, my fingers hurt, I'm dizzy. Like, <laughs> I wish I would have had these wigs back when I was taking appointments. So yes, I'm obsessed with these. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of spoiled. Like, if I get wigs from a sponsor, I'm gonna demand that they come like this <laughs> because this is the new standard. I don't even wanna pluck a wig. Like, when I make videos and I tell you guys, you know, about the basics of the wig, I'm gonna let you know if I had to touch it or not because that's literally like a new standard now. All right, so as I'm watching this footage, I actually do remember I did have to bleach the knots, but I didn't have to do any plucking at all. So that's still good in my book. So sometimes, you know, when I bleach the knots, the bleach kind of runs on the roots of the hair a little bit and it turns gold and it starts to look kind of crazy. So normally every time I do my installs, I add a little bit of black semi-permanent dye to the part just so it can be clean and it doesn't look like, you know, the bleach ran on the hair. All right, so now I'm at the style. So I went ahead and separated the baby hairs and I always do my styles wet because it just makes the hair a lot easier to manage. Um, there's no flyaways, you know, you don't have to worry about the hair going every which way. So every time I do any type of braids or ponytails or whatever in frontal hairstyles, I'll always coat it with some type of setting foam. And the setting foam I'm using today is Tropical Roots, but I'm I'm also working on a styling foam that will be available on my website very soon. So I'm trying out formulas and listen, I'm only going to bring out the best for you guys. So yes. All right, so the left side is looking really good. Now let's go ahead and go to the right side. And when I tell you, uh, baby, listen, scalpy, <laughs> okay? Hella scalpy. So the key to getting your wigs to look like this is bleaching the knots perfectly, making sure the bleach doesn't run through the net too much and get on the hair. Make sure it only gets on the knot itself, you know, as much as you can. Now, if you do happen to over bleach the knots and it kind of slips through or the bleach is too thin or watery, something like that, then you can always go through with some semi-permanent, you know, black dye or whatever, go part by part and fix the roots I've had to do that plenty time so don't be lazy you know if you have to fix the roots then go ahead and fix it and number two is of course the stocking cap like these parts will not look like this without a cap <laughs> okay period you can definitely see black hair through the lace or even worse red or blonde or colored hair through the lace so stocking caps are essential when it comes to wig installs All right, cool. So the hairstyle is basically done at the top and now let's get into these baby hairs. Now, when I first started doing baby hairs, well really like half my career, 
I used to always do baby hairs on the entire hairline, but then I started to leave the widow's peak kind of empty and only do the swoops on the side. So, I mean, it's really up to you. Like my baby hairstyle has evolved and continues to evolve like every couple months. Every time I see something new on the internet, I'd be like, I wanna try that. <laughs> so at this point of my baby hair career, <laughs> I always do like a heart shaped like a uh, part in the hairline where I create this widow's peak effect. So just remember when you're parting out the hair to you know separate the baby hair, I always remember just do a heart shape. So you can get that natural widow's peak look in the middle and when you start to mold your baby hair, it can actually look like more natural, like it's form fitting to your model's hairline and not just like a straight line across. All right, so the right side is done. Now let's go ahead and go to the left side. And I want you guys to really look at the middle of this lace and see how I parted these baby hairs out. This is the effect that you get when you do the heart shape rather than just straight across. All right, all right, so when it comes to the swoops, right? Sometimes I do three on each side. Sometimes I do four. Um, sometimes I just do two, just one swoop and one side burn on each side. It really just depends on what the person wants, you know? So I don't know, whatever I'm feeling is what I do. Normally, I'm not gonna lie, I normally do four on each side, but today, I don't know, I was just feeling three <laughs> and it looks great. And also, I feel like when you ask your client, you know, what type of baby hairs you want, can you show me a picture? You know, that kind of challenges you to try different styles and different techniques. And also, it doesn't make all your clients look like uniformed. <laughs> like, they all have the exact same hairstyle, so yeah. All right, so now let's get into tinting this lace. This is my favorite part ever, like. <laughs> I'm so thankful for these lace tints. So the color that I'm using right now is the light brown that of course you can get off galaxygirlhair.com. I'm applying it really fast to the lace so you know the lace doesn't start to lift. Now don't get me wrong, it's really light and airy but it's still liquid so you have to apply it really fast, cover it and sit your model under the dryer. what lace <laughs> where that lace at <laughs> when i tell you guys the liquid lace foam is my favorite product off galaxygirlhair.com like when i tell you that is an essential product for installing your wigs you should always have one of those bottles in your bathroom at all times all right so i blue dried the hair blue dried is it blow dried or blue dried <laughs> So I dried the hair a little bit more so I don't have no steam or wet patches when I'm trying to flat iron the hair or especially when I have the hot comb to the hair because you don't want that, you know, that water sizzling and popping your client in the scalp and you definitely do not want to burn nobody. So one of my favorite aspects of this wig, besides the hairline, okay, because the hairline is bomb, okay, is the fact that you really don't have to work too hard trying to get it straight with the flat iron like the wig is already straight like it's not gonna get super like indian bone straight but it will get straight and you don't have to do tiny parts to get it there so it was extremely easy for me to style this wig and i didn't have to go through the entire wig you know track by track i really just kind of like generally just kind of flat ironed it 
really all I did was flat iron the top and flat iron the ends <laughs> and maybe any hair in between that kind of looked frizzy or whatever but yeah it was really easy to, to to straighten it out so right now I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting the ends a little bit so I can make the ends a little bit more even more clean and you don't necessarily have to do this but my OCD won't let me not do it Oh my gosh oh i'm just taken back <laughs> so this is the final result we are finally at the end of this video and this listen i don't know man i be having a lot of favorite hairstyles but i think this one my favorite <laughs> so once again thank you so much wow african for sponsoring this video with this beautiful yaki straight wig if you guys want this exact unit i'm gonna put all the information in the description below if you're not subscribed to my channel already make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications and i'll see y'all later